Hey Justin, this is John at HiCom. I'm here with some K9 stuff. Uh, just wanted to go over with you a few of the um, ideas, concerns, issues that we have with this design and then kind of wanted to show you on our design how that is uh, um, taken care of, I guess. Um, ours isn't perfect either, but let me just go over a few things with you. So the main concern is is this neck area is not adjustable so when the dog's actually wearing it you can see ours goes around and there's actually armor in this panel we have this strap right here where it actually can be adjusted and then a buckle where it connects theirs is simply piece of fabric sewn or comes around and is sewn in the middle here and same thing on the other side which is these two pieces here from the armor standpoint which are actually connected together like this and then go up onto the sides of this guy right here um, the other thing was if you look the way that this actually has to go onto the dog the dog it would be flat on the ground the dog actually has to physically step into this hole. And I know we kind of discussed this already. Where you can see on this design, there's two buckles here, as well as these two buckles here, where this whole thing can be loaded onto the dog from the top. And then these two buckles on the side also provide additional adjustment in the width of the armor around the dog. Um, and then I'll kind of let you look at what our armor panel looks like. So it kind of comes around the dog just like this on both sides. You can kind of see there's one hanging down there and they kind of fold under and overlap each other. And then this piece goes up underneath those pieces and they Velcro on. This is our sample, so there's no Velcro here, but you can see there would be loop here and then there would be hook on this part. And this would go up underneath the dog. This would Velcro tight to that. This would Velcro tight in on itself and then you would strap it and adjust it tight. You can see on this design, especially with the zipper, there's, there's, no, there's no room for adjustment this way either. So my big concern was is that in order to make multiple size dogs fit in this vest, you'd have to have multiple sizes of this specific panel, which is very concerning um, because if you're gonna custom measure a dog, uh, you, you'd have to basically custom make this panel to each dog. Not sure if that's something this guy's willing or interested in doing or not. And then the armor itself, when connected to this carrier, I'm just gonna do a quick example here. You can kind of see once it's on there, there's a lack of overlapping coverage here. Whereas on not just ours, but any typical um, K9, you're not gonna have any lack of coverage from the bottom all the way around the body of the dog. It's gonna be one solid piece. And I'm not sure with the mesh design that he's looking at doing, if there's any, any real concern there or not. Um, that was just one of my concerns as far as the armament of the dog. Um, one of my thoughts was that we could make this entire thing one big piece of mesh with a pocket on the back side and then your armor would insert in and then you could put adjustability out on the very outside so this would be a middle bottom of the torso connecting part this would be a middle of the bottom of the connecting part of the torso on the dog and you'd basically that it would fold in around the dog just like ours currently does and you could even still have a zipper if you really wanted it and then you could sew in some elastic straps to where it's still stretchy and slightly adjustable. 
you'd end up with a lot less sizes that way. <coughs> the other thing was on, on the current design that you have, you know, you get the clavicle, the dog clavicle coverage, and this, this armor doesn't fit this dog right, but there's no underneath chest coverage on the dog either. Um, I'm sure that this guy in the design can give us some feedback on how he would like to see the, the chest get some coverage. Um, maybe he doesn't need that or isn't concerned about it, I'm not sure. But this part right here, since it's completely detachable, multiple sizes of this piece, this chest and clavicle coverage, can be made very easily and we can this can be made narrower or longer this way these can be shaped in or out based on the size of the dog very easily and you still only have one size of this the body piece um i don't think that i had any additional um besides what i've already talked to you about concerns um, other than just, the, you know, the basic fact is that this thing is not adjustable at all. And there's a lack of usability, you know, with having to put the dog's legs in here to get it on the dog. Um, if you could get some feedback from your canine guy and, I mean, if, see, if, see if he wants to make some changes or wants to go with some of our recommendations and we can make a prototype or... Or uh, if we want to continue with his design and keep moving in that direction, you can show him kind of what we have. And um, I can assemble this on the vet, on the dog as the complete vest and take some pictures. And he, if he gives us the go-ahead, we could do it that way too. Um, if you could uh, just review this, review it with the client and let us know what they think. And... Um, and we'll continue to move forward and get a sample to you guys as quickly as we can. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.